Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching my video blog today. Today I'm here to talk about how much of an impact can the mortgage interest deduction really make on your monthly payment and ultimately how much you come home with every month. And I have with me Greg Cash of Greg Cash Tax Plus, and we're going to answer some questions about this. Now, thanks for coming. You're very welcome. We put together kind of a little scenario so that uh, we could look at this, um, make it a little bit easier to understand how this works. So, I guess first of all, what's the main difference between someone who's renting versus someone who owns a home? Well, when you're renting, all of your money is going for, to the benefit of the the landlord mm -hmm. and you're getting nothing in return you're probably paying as much in rent as you would for a house payment so why not just convert it to a house payment absolutely i agree with that sure. <laughs> so for example um let's say someone was going to buy a five hundred thousand dollar house and we're just going to kind of come up with some numbers here obviously your particular scenarios may be different but um, to give an example so you can see how this works. So let's say we have a single person and they are in a great job to make about $100,000 a year. And so they're in a 25, 28% tax bracket, right? Right. Okay. So um, they're going to buy a house. They're going to put $500,000 house and they're going to put 20% down. So $100,000. And their interest rate right now about 4.5% for a 30-year loan your monthly payments around $2,000 a month. Now, the interest that you would pay in the first year would be almost $18,000 or close to $1,500 a month. That's right. a fairly significant amount of interest. Now, with that being said, if someone's in that $100,000 tax bracket, how much could they potentially reduce their taxes and they buy a home versus renting? Uh, depending upon where they're at currently uh, with their with withholdings, they could potentially save five to ten thousand uh, dollars in the tax li you know in their tax liability itself, just as a result of the mortgage interest and all of the other deductions that you're now able to to take, which you may not have been able to take previously. So, if they're if someone is lowering their taxes by ten thousand dollars over the course of the year, that is essentially about. $800 a month. So if you look at it that way, then that takes that $2,000 a month payment effectively down to $1,200 a month, right. which is way cheaper than most rents for that, <laughs> right? So that's some good news for you in order to help lower your uh, taxes, keep more money, and ultimately own your own real estate. Now, I know you mentioned some other deductions. So um, there's a whole world that opens up when you buy a home absolutely, as far as deductions. Absolutely does. You know, one of the things that gets included in that would be, you know, now you're responsible for your own property taxes. And uh, you can, you know, that's a deduction for you as well. Previously, maybe you were ending up having to do the standard deduction amount on your tax returns. And now, inclusive in, in these other two that I've already mentioned, now you can add all those charitable contributions that you've been taking, possibly medical expenses, but hopefully you're covered by insurance and because of it's a 10% issue there. So there isn't a whole lot of benefit there, but you know, you've got your, your vehicle license expense, which uh, never benefited you before. So all of these little things add up uh, and uh, they can help you you know, you might actually feel more charitable and give a little more to increase that deduction as well, because you know that you're all, you're going to be getting it all back. So you know, it creates a great benefit for you when you own a home. Terrific. Now we've also heard too some of the um, energy, like some of the radio commercials are talking about writing off some of these um, hero loans and the pace loans. How does that work? Well, my understanding is that they're wrapped into your property taxes. And I was in complete shock when I heard the first ad on the radio and the gentleman was talking about, oh, it's part of your property tax bill and you can write it off. They are not deductible. And I'm sure that I'm, I haven't seen one yet. I'm sure I'm going to see one this coming year. But, uh, and they will probably be segregated with your regular property taxes versus this, this uh, 
amount that you're able to write off, um, uh, along with this amount that is included, excuse me, in with your property tax bill. That portion of it, I've, I understand, is not deductible. So whatever those ads are telling you, they're telling you incorrect information. Good to know. Good to know. Great. Well, if anybody has any other questions, where can they reach you at? Yes, you can reach me at uh, either you can email me at greg at gregcash.com or you can give me a call at 562-597-4300 or please feel free if I'm not available to call my assistant Matt Coulomb at 562-597-4600. Great. And of course, if you have any real estate related questions, you can reach out to me at 562-316-2915 or you can email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Please feel free to forward and share this with your friends and click on any of the links below here to find out more information about your property's value or other homes that are for sale in the area. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.